Hi everyone, it's me Brock from Tradent. Welcome to my live trading session where you will see me trade live. You will be able to see my PL just as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching me trade, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. Now let's welcome our trading room members. The market is just about to get opened and welcome everyone and good luck. Hey Scott. Hi traders, good to see you all here. Welcome to our trading room. Welcome everyone. If you are in YouTube, hit that like button for us. Okay, traders, market is open. The S&P is up 0.25% and continues the recent trend that we've seen the last few days. We are moving higher, continue to move higher. We started with a relatively small gap, 0.25%, which means we could easily close it. So if you're going long, always have in mind the fact that the S&P could easily come down, close the gap, and then likely to continue higher because that's the trend. We do have some stocks that are gapping down today, like uh, J&J. J&J is down 0.9, actually 1% right now. If I want to short it, I will be looking for a move up and then a continued move down, but doesn't seem like j, &J is about to give me that chance. Uh, I do love Netflix, but not before it pulls back down a little bit. Netflix is up 1%, so if I want to go long, I want to see it pulling down. On the other hand, I've got AMD, which did pull down, and now we've got a green candle, and I want to go long, but this green candle is too extreme. I don't want to go long this way. So wait for it to come down maybe a little bit and then go long. Also watch CVNA, which is down th up 33%. This could be a classic gap and go. Uh, I will be interested to go long over $54 CVNA. I'm posting it. Now that's a classic gap and go. A huge gap up over 30%, actually over 3% isn't enough. And then... I'm going to follow after, Mayor into this trade here. Right after it fails to move lower, assuming it's going to fail, I don't know. <laughs> assuming it's going to fail to move lower, then we could go long at some point. And so far, it doesn't look like it's going to give us a chance. On the other end, look at AMD. AMD, that's the reason I didn't want to buy on this green candle. It was too extreme. And you can see that in the same candle, we came down and finished down. Now starts a new candle. This could be an interesting long candle, possibly over 121.20 AMD. I'm posting it. dollar stop loss approximately i guess a cvna i'm going to take over 52 i think mayor had said 54 i'm going to take it over 52 this is going to be cvna long over 52. well it came down quite a bit so 52 makes sense but i want to me i want to wait just a bit more i feel like i want to wait a bit more and look, J&J started by moving down. I was looking for a pullback. I do have the pullback, but it's too much. It moved up too much. Too high from the lows. And I don't feel it's safe enough. You watch the entry here. $52 on CVNA. Stop loss is going to be 50 I'm long the stock. Nvidia is very weak for some reason. Okay, CVNA. I'm about to go long. I go long over actually here. I'm long CVNA. What was your entry point, Scott? 52. Nice, 52. Nice, nice, really nice. It's a huge gap up. Mm 
Wow. Okay, got to take some partials here, traders. 54.30, 54.30, I'm out three quarters of the trade, CVMA. I'm getting ready for partial. I'm going to add to this trade if we get over 55. But... Paid myself first, and I'm going to extend this trade over $55 if we get there. I'm getting a partial here, one point, almost one point. I got my partial in CVNA. I think it's early and too risky here to hold. Add, oh, to trade here at look, look at it, Scott. Look. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm selling some more. Yeah. Selling some here at 56 now, 56.04. I am out. 56.10, I'm out. CVNA, three quarters of the ad out. 70. Stop loss, 55 now. 55. Let's not look back now. Come on. Move, move. Posting, posting Netflix over 479. Come on, 57. Come on. Reducing my size. It's a very big mover. Okay. Nasdaq direction is down in the direction of closing the gap. On the other hand, the S&P is holding up. Oh, look at this pullback in CVNA. I'm glad we took our partials. Hey, I am out CVNA, the rest of it. I'm that still holding quick. some. J, J is no longer interesting. Coin is interesting. Beautiful bull flag on the daily of coin. Watch uh, Netflix if it's going to trigger over 4.79 as I posted. Boy, that was quick on CDNA, huh? The S&P new highs. Wow. All that work and it comes right back down. Could we take it again? Sure, we could. Scott, I'm taking NVIDIA. Guys, I'm taking NVIDIA right here. Long. I'm going to join you right here at 472.60. 472. I'm long in NVIDIA. CDNA coming down again. I just okay, love I'm the take daily. CDNA over 50. I love the daily of NVIDIA. That's the main reason why I'm long. Because intraday wise, it's weak. Come on, Nvidia. Or 75 target or close to it. SP new highs. The SP is currently up almost 0.4%. NASDAQ is up 0.25. But it did move down, almost closed the gap. And now it's going up again, I believe. Apple is at the lows. Watch CVNA entry here. Another beautiful daily is Tesla. Hey, Yogi. I'll be interested in going long Tesla over 296. Posted. Wow, then the way Netflix came down. And the S&P continues to move higher. I know the Nasdaq's moving up. There's no way Netflix is going to continue down. Well, I guess it's a pullback after a huge upside move yesterday. But that's not likely to continue. Especially when the S&P is moving to new highs. 
I'm going to go long. I'm going long Netflix right here. I'm long Netflix. Went long just over 474. 7880. Relatively small size long in Netflix. It's a risky trade. I'm betting that Netflix, after coming down and closing the gap and a little bit more, will reverse. It's a counter trend trade but it's mainly based on the fact that the S&P is moving to new highs and now the Nasdaq joined and the Nasdaq is very close to the highs so I guess stocks which are strong on the daily should reverse and move higher from here wouldn't mind taking something off the table here is Netflix. Come on, NVIDIA. No, not now. No trade CVMA? NASDAQ. NASDAQ touching the highs. Long NVIDIA waiting on CVMA right now. NVIDIA, good, looking yes. great. Come on, let's go, NVIDIA. Do it. Okay, over a point here, getting ready for a partial. Mm, I'm about to take my partial in NVIDIA. Then you sign up for pullback. Go, go, NVIDIA. Do it now. Took my partial in NVIDIA. Looking for close to 475 on NVIDIA. Okay, Netflix is now moving over two points, getting ready for a partial there. Okay, Netflix, let's do it. Now, PDD. took my partial okay. in Netflix. Five times. S&P is holding to the highs. Still waiting on CVMA. Still waiting on NVDA. Traders, uh, 27 minutes into the trading session, I'm done. I've got a winner in Netflix, just over two grand, and Nvidia up two grand. CVNA, nice trade, over six grand. <laughs> no reason for me to continue trading. Just no reason for me to continue trading. Well, I'll tell you, what, I, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Really, really nice trading this morning. Yeah, you know, I'm looking outside and I'm in this beautiful island of uh, Simi trading for my boat. Find me just one good reason to continue trading today. I can't. Well, you've got your fuel paid for for the day, that's for sure. So you got that. Covered. You probably got a few. You got probably got dinner covered as well for the day. So. Um, now, quit while you're ahead, right? Filling up fuel in this boat is something like uh, $16,000. Actually, more. Wow. A bit more, $18,000. Is that diesel? Yeah, it's diesel. Diesel? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, for the f next few days, I've got my fuel. That's true. Uh, traders, thank you very much for joining in. Um, I had fun. I hope you did too. I mean, please continue here with uh, Scott, Yogi, and the other um, team members that we have here. Um, I just don't see any reason why I should take any more risks. So I just had a fantastic start for the day with three winners. Really, I would like to keep it this way. So thank you very much for joining. I will really appreciate if you are on YouTube, if you hit that like button. And thank you again for joining my live session here, our live session here. And um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. It depends on where I'll be, if the Starling is going to do well there. But I guess I will. So, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye traders. See you tomorrow.